Hey, hey, Queen City Gaming fans, welcome back, folks. So today, guys, in our unit deep dive, we're looking at the 100 Kingdoms of Mercenary Crossbowmen. So you should keep these guys in your army, guys, because they are a light unit, so they come on the table first, they have a good movement, and they set a good reinforcement line for your other units. They're a great ranged unit with minus one AP when they shoot, and they also work well with a lot of characters in this army, especially the household mage, or more importantly, the imperial officer, who has some amazing buffs that take these guys to the next level. So now when we look at the average profile for this unit, they are human, they are light. Movement 5, velocity 2, which goes up to a 3 with an aim, which is great. Clash of 1, attacks 1, wounds 1, uh, resilience 2, defense of 1, evasion 0. So kind of your average human profile. But where they really shine is their special rules. So they have barrage 1, so they get 1 shot for each model, so 4 shots per stand. 5 if you have the unit champion. But they have a 20 inch range, which is great. It actually went up from 18 uh, to 20. So at 10 inches, they're getting their full amount of shots. And it also still makes it a little harder for people to shoot them. Now they also have armor piercing one, which is really good because now your opponents are minus one to their defense rolls when they take shots from these guys. So overall, these guys are kind of your average humans, but their barrage really lets them like move forward, do some dice, you know, at your opponent, do some plink damage, but still uh, be available to set that uh, off uh, that reinforcement line for your other units like your household guard, your household knights, things like that later on down the road. But let's look at how we uh, grade these guys. All right, so overall, I give these guys a C. They're average how they are right now. If you want to take these guys to the next level, considering putting a... Um, a mage in there with them to either turn them into an offensive buff like uh, using a fire mage to do some overall extra damage with them or really think about putting the imperial officer in there i know it sounds crazy but he has a special rule that gives them um that's called trained in trigonometry and it allows them to make you take morale checks against your shooting attacks which is huge and does a lot of extra damage when we really talk about um uh, you know, the damage output of these guys. At the end of the day, you know, it's great they're a light unit, it's great they set the reinforcement line, but they have to do something for your army, and they really need to do some plank damage. These guys can be great. I've seen them take out abominations before, so you, you really have to use these guys well, and they can really be a great light unit for you. Put that Imperial Officer in there, give them trained in trigonometry, and then you could also give them other abilities like fire in advance, um, which would be really cool. So then you get some extra movement out of them too. But overall, guys, I give them a C. They're an okay unit. But if you put the Imperial Officer in there, buff them up a good bit, they probably turn into the B range. But guys, I do want to thank you for joining me here at Queen City Gaming. Do me a favor, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and stick around for some more Conquest content. Queen City Gaming, folks, signing out.